Scientists and astronomers have hit many major milestones in the last two decades or so. But clearly, some milestones are head and shoulders above others. From Gaia's mapping of our galaxy to finding water molecules on Enceladus and the first ever image of black holes. Here are the biggest discoveries made by astronomers in the 21st century. Intense exoplanet exploration. In recent times, a scientific revolution looks to have kicked off right under our noses. And critically, this revolution has transformed how we see the universe, especially with the discovery of seemingly new fascinating elements like exoplanets. Thanks to the advancement in technology, we now know that these elements are spread across the stars of the Milky Way galaxy and probably all across the entire universe. A few space exploration gadgets have been deployed to track and explore exoplanets. However, the Kepler Space Telescope remains the single most important space tool for fishing out these fascinating objects, which are presumably difficult to spot. For perspective, the Kepler Space Telescope has single-handedly facilitated the discovery of about 5,000 exoplanets. Admittedly, these worlds come in different sizes and have different features. Some are as big and hot as Jupiter, the mightiest planet in the outer solar system. Meanwhile, we've found other modest worlds that have similarities to ours in terms of size and features. And understandably, this has been one of our biggest discoveries in space this century. Cassini spies water jets over Enceladus. During its flyby mission of Enceladus in 2005, the legendary Cassini spacecraft discovered fountains of water around the moon's south pole. This contradicts our initial belief that there is an ocean beneath the icy surface. These foundations have been found to be the source of Saturn's tenacious E-ring. Admittedly, it means Enceladus is one extracelestial element with the potential to harbor life. This adds to the previous list of potentially habitable moons, which include Jupiter's Europa and Ganymede. Methane on Mars. Astronomers have taken a keen interest in Mars over the past few decades, and that has been the driving force behind the several missions that have landed on the planet's surface. For these missions, scientists have discovered many things about Mars that we didn't know before, like the existence of oceans and lakes on the planet in the past, which makes it a potentially habitable planet. This belief is further emphasized by the presence of methane, which was discovered by the Curiosity rover. One school of thought suggests this could be the handiwork of methane-producing bacteria underneath the Martian surface. But on the other hand, it could well be the end result of an instrumental artifact or a contamination. First image of a black hole captured. Black holes have become a prominent astrophysical element in the 21st century, and you can understand why. Before the 21st century, the existence of black holes was based entirely on theory. However, in 2019, scientists captured and unveiled the shadow of a supermassive black hole at the heart of the M87 galaxy. This first-of-its-kind milestone was made possible by a global network of radio telescopes, which uncovered the events that occur beyond the event horizon of the black hole. Rosetta explores a comet. Comets are another space element that have been widely discussed and explored this century. One memorable comet exploration mission happened between 2014 and 2016 when the Rosetta spacecraft visited the 67P, Churyumov Garrison Enco. The instant the spacecraft touched down on the icy surface of the duck-shaped comet was a proud moment for scientists and humanity as a whole, and it would obviously go down in the books of history forever. The Hubble Tension Since the beginning of time itself, scientists have agreed with very little resistance that the universe expands. However, the rate of expansion at the time the universe was formed and the current rate as measured locally are said to be different. This phenomenon, known as the Hubble Tension, has caused great controversy with the scientific community. Admittedly, this disagreement might have resulted from an error in one or both theories. However, experiments in this century have allowed us to confirm that the discrepancy exists. Dark matter in the bullet cluster. 
Despite the profound success we've achieved in exploring space, more than 80% of the materials that constitute it remain unseen. Part of this unseen element is known as dark energy, while the remaining part is reportedly made up of dark matter. Critically, there's still no hard evidence confirming the existence of either of the two elements because they are completely invisible and cannot be detected by conventional sensors and detectors. However, we believe they exist because that's the only way to explain some of the biggest mysteries in physics, particularly around the movement of stars and galaxies. This has become even more clear in the last 16 years or so. It became even more apparent in the mid-2000s when astronomers mapped the mass of the bullet cluster and discovered it was different from what they'd expected it to be. Gaia mapping the Milky Way The concept of astronomy is deeply rooted in our ability to map the night sky. Over time, we've mapped planets, stars and other celestial elements. It was only a matter of time before our galaxy got a map of its own. And interestingly, the Gaia spacecraft manufactured by the ESA made it happen. Since its launch in 2013, the iconic space observatory device has carefully recorded the position and movements of the several billion stars swimming across the emptiness of space, allowing researchers to walk down the path of history back to when the Milky Way was formed. Phosphine on Venus Detecting phosphine molecules in the atmosphere of Venus is the most controversial astronomical discovery in history. But there's no denying it's one of the biggest findings of this century. The discovery, pioneered by Professor Jane Greaves of the University of Cardiff and a team of international astronomers, was a truly astounding one because phosphorus, as we know it on Earth, is only produced by life forms. Based on this fact, scientists have posited that life could well exist on the Venusian world. But, of course, more experiments are needed to either confirm or debunk these claims. New Horizons flies to Pluto Despite being reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, Pluto remains one of the most fascinating planetary bodies in space, and it is for this reason that Dr. Alan Stern and his team of experts designed and steered the Horizon spacecraft to fly past the icy world on the 14th of July 2015. This was a defining moment in astronomy, at least in the 21st century, and despite the reclassification process, some theorists tend to believe that the complex mission completes the American exploration of the main solar system bodies. Hubble's last servicing mission The Hubble Space Telescope has a seemingly torrid time in the world beyond in its early days. Initially, the primary mirror of the space observation gadget had a nasty defect that required astronauts to physically visit it in space to perform repair work. The first of such visits happened in December 1993, when five astronauts carried out the servicing mission to the telescope. But following the tragic disaster of the Space Shuttle Columbia, a fourth servicing mission was initially cancelled. However, after some intense deliberation, the mission was eventually approved and astronauts performed the last and perhaps the most technical servicing mission of this era. Gravitational Waves In 2015, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory LIGO experiment expanded the theory of Albert Einstein, opening a new phase in our space exploration study. The ripples discovered were quite tiny. However, they revealed some of the most violent and energetic processes in our universe. One of such processes is the collision of two black holes in a faraway galaxy, about 1.3 billion light years away, a phenomenon that was previously unknown to scientists in the past. Fast radio bursts. Our search for extraterrestrials gained momentum like never before this century, especially after the discovery of strange radio signals transmitted from deep space. It all started in 2007 when Duncan Lorimer and David Narkovic were examining the archives of the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia. But little did they know, they were on their way to make one of the grandest astronomy discoveries of all time. While observing the data, they quickly stumbled on the Lorimer Burst, which was first recorded by the Parkes Telescope in 2001. Officially, it became the first fast radio burst, FRB, to be officially described by scientists. 
and since then, several new FRBs have been detected by different telescopes across the globe, helping scientists build a vast databank of radio signals discovered in space.